So we've done two reports on the same sheet, but once you've designed the report and you got all the columns, you got every, you're happy with everything. Last thing you want to do, uh, besides save copies of it somewhere else in case someone really destroys your report, is to actually save it as a template. Uh, do you, what a template is is when the user double clicks on a template, it creates a copy and opens the copy. So they're working from a copy of your template. Uh, this adds the added protection of them not changing your template on mistake, whereas they can open the copy as a copy and then they can start changing stuff if you allow them to. Um, maybe make notes or whatever. Uh, so I'm going to show you the kind of a, the way we save, save things as templates with Office Connector and explain why. So what first thing we want to do, uh, and the trial balance ain't going to be able to really do it um, un unless you had um, a blank database. But I think I don't even have one here. Nope, I don't even have one. Um, my other computer, I have a, a blank Sage database so that when I refresh it, the workbook against a blank database, all of the data values disappear. So um, I click refresh here. I want I want to clear the data. And the reason I want to do this is when the user opens up for the template and sees already existing data, they may have already thought they refreshed their report. Um, like I said, I don't have a blank database installed. All right, I do refresh it, and this would just go away as well. So that's the first thing you want to do when you save as a report is try to clear the data out if you can, or as a template, I'm sorry. The next thing, uh, and there's a knowledge base article on this, is since we use Office Connector functions, it, it's actually a link in Excel. And so what what that means is, um, let's say you're, you made your report and you made it on a 64-bit version of, of, of Windows. That the add-in is installed in a particular position or a place on that 64-bit system. And someone else opens it up on a 32-bit system where the add-in is installed in a different place. Well, the, the add-in location has changed. And what would happen is Excel would prompt you to update values. But Office Connector will do this for you automatically. And so to prevent the users getting unnecessary information, we go to Data Edit Links, and we're going to change the startup behavior to the, by default, it's going to be let user choose to display the alert or not. Well, change it to do not display the alert and do not update automatic links. And then click OK. And that will prevent a lot of frustration when they open your template. And then the last thing you'll probably want to do is I'm going to go to File, Info, Properties. It's in the same place for 2010 and 2013. 2007, um, it might be in the same place. I'm not sure. Um, but you want to go to Advanced Properties. And this, this will bring up uh, properties for the workbook, and then you'll go to Custom. And you're going to see two properties in here that t uh, Office Connector put in. The first one, it's this version. We always recommend you delete it. The reason being is if you're on a newer version of Office Connector than one of your other users, or uh, and they and they open your report, they're going to get a message saying that Office Connector, uh, this version of this version of the workbook has been created in a future uh, a future version of Office Connector, or a, another message is displaying it the other way around, and that might be confusing for them. So basically, um, we delete that so they don't get the message. Office Connector is backward compa compatible, so future releases of Office Connector will always work with older versions. Um, the other way around may not be true. So 
uh, you would know, well, you probably would know that you're working with maybe some new functionality in Office Connector. You just want to make sure everyone else is updated on their computers. The second thing we do change, um, this one is optional. If you want, it's it's got the location of your data folder uh, listed here. We change this one to prompt, the word prompt. And what that does is next, when they open it up from a template and then they click refresh, it will allow them to select the data folder. Whereas if you leave that in and they click refresh, it's going to use the data folder that's in here. Unless it can't find it, then it'll ask you where it's at. Otherwise, it'll just go straight into asking you for your credentials, your Sage username password. So we leave that one to prompt. The other ones you can ignore and just leave as is. Um, but those are the two. After I'm done with that, um, go ahead and save it as a template. I save this one as a macro enabled template. Um, actually, we didn't do any macro, so you could have done just a regular template. But and then um, you can save or save it wherever you like. Now, if you want to save it to the folder location of of your other starter reports, uh, you can go to your reports tab. And down below, you'll see uh, the number of items. And this is an actual link. And you can it'll take you out to where these are saved. OK. And you can save it in here as a template, and it will show up in this list. If you want, you can create a new folder. And call it, um, I'm going to call it training. And save it there. So that one is uh, program data. Uh, let's see, two. It's kind of a pain to navigate to if you don't know where it's at. That's why I, I put the link in the, uh, the tab. Okay, I'm going to call it right here, Training Office Connector. Yeah. And then the very last step, you'll notice now you, I'm getting this new prompt. It says, this workbook contains external data. Do you wish Microsoft to clear the data before saving the template? and then automatically refreshing the table when it's opened. Click No. Um, clicking Yes. Um, I've had clients report back that they've accidentally clicked Yes. And it's caused some weird refreshing issues that I'm not able to reproduce uh, on different systems. So just click No to that. And that's it. I'm going to close Excel. Um, let me close the desktop, but it, and now that new folder where I, I saved it at is there, and my templates, my template is here. Or you could have just saved it in that base reports folder, and it would have been here. Now that doesn't mean you can, you don't have to save it so it shows in the launch pad. You can save it anywhere you want. Perhaps. The file is sensitive, the template is sensitive, and you only want um, particular users who have permissions to a group of folders on your network to get to it, you can save it there as well, it's fine. They just need Office Connector on their workbook, on their desktop. Excuse me. Office Connector installed on their computer to refresh and access that information. Um, Really quickly with uh, security, uh, just because you're all you really new. Office Connector security uh, is done through the ODBC driver, and in Sage, um, 
there's way to, ways of setting up roles uh, to have those ODBC permissions. Um, it will also follow true for record level security, if you're familiar with that. So that security enforced in SAGE is enforced through the ODBC driver. Unless for some reason you're on SAGE 9.4 or below, uh, which I seriously doubt. Um, record level security, people used to believe that record level security would control ODBC security, and it doesn't. Um, but they, um, since 9.4, they've added in the, OD, the ODBC write and query. So that security is pretty much primary driving if someone can access certain information through ODBC and your reports. Okay. So we saved it as a template. Oh, and then like I said, uh, on our re Oops. You go to our website. Now, just getting some more additional information or help. Um, you can go to our knowledge base article. It's yours. It's free to use. Free to anyone, actually. Um, we have information on uh, Office Connector. It's searchable. Also, uh, I don't know if you guys have done this yet. Let me try to find it here. Uh, okay, support training. Um, you can actually, there's recorded training. And you can get through Office Connector or even get more specific, like query. At whatever level, I'm going to do this. And, and we have a, a bunch of nice videos in here um, that show the duration. And these show little tricks and tips. And they're free to also for you to use and look at. And I believe that pretty much covers it. 